parent was drug addict or they are in prison or they are unfit or they was abuse, abusive or they were physically or mentally sexually harassed or sexually violated, parent did this. And, 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 and will sometime allow. And, and they, they did it. That's why we, the system is just filled up. Our children are molested, they're raped, and they're put in prison and they don't have a parent. And then we got the same sex that is uh, uh, actually uh, adopting them. And I'm not against them adopting them because if the if they're heterosexual had a stage where they're supposed to be and they were doing what they were supposed to do, then they wouldn't have nobody wouldn't have to adopt, the, adopt them. Allow me to speak for myself. And what am I saying for myself? I'm saying that Joel said that we should call a soul and fast. We need to blow the trumpet in Zion. And my God, we need to call a fast. And we need to fast and pray until God give us some type of deliverance. There's too many things are happening. Things that we never would allow to happen. Things that we said that never would happen. They are happening under our eyes. And we are not doing nothing about it. And we're not saying nothing. The church is just a silent big organization. Can I speak for myself? Hallelujah. Our public schools. Help us our public schools are filled with teachers and administrators. And 3% of them violate our children. And, and, and the ratio is the same in the church. I said the same in the church. My God, where can you send your children that they're not violated? They're violated in the homes. They're violated in the school. And they're violated in the church. Let me speak for myself. I said, let me speak for myself. I'm not speaking for nobody else, but I'm speaking for myself. It's time. Help it say, it's time. What God said, if my people, help it say, my people that are called by my name, if they would just armor themselves. Help it say, armor themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. He said, I'll hear from heaven. Help me say, I'll hear from heaven and I'll heal the land. Do I have a witness here? Do I have a witness? If my child is violated in the church and they violated on the outside and they're violated in school, where can I send my child? I said, where can I send my child? And my God, the other day, oh, Jesus, help me a few minutes. Hallelujah. We got drugs, alcohol, guns, knives, brought into our public schools for no other reason, no other purpose but to kill innocent children. And most of our public schools are brought to the randomly, they're randomly searching lockers and searching the classroom looking for knives and guns and drugs in the lockers. I wish I had a witness here. Well, they, they got metal detectors and they bring in dogs. Do they bring in dogs at the school to search the lockers? They're smelling for stuff. I wish I had a, a witness here. Well, my God, do you understand? We all not have all that in the school. When I went to school, they didn't have dogs smelling going on. They didn't have locked down. They didn't have guns coming to school. They didn't have all that stuff. Can you allow me to say something? Am I allowed to say what I want to say? Hallelujah. 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 Well, I heard God said, he said, when we cry peace and safety, he said, then sudden destruction is coming. It's coming upon us as fast as a woman is in travail. Hallelujah. We ought to have somebody to speak for ourselves. We got to stop waiting on the politician. The politician is not going to say it. The politician is with them. We got to stop even depending on the preacher to say it. A lot of preachers are with them. I wish they had a witness for I wish I had a witness, but somebody, I said somebody, somebody ought to talk for themselves. Somebody. Hallelujah. 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 While our American leaders, the rich and the upper class, are publicly speaking against illegal immigrants occupying our country illegally. They are, one, they are the one who are hiring them. I wish I had a witness. They are the one that are hiring them. But on the outside, they're telling you, we don't want them here. And they're hurting all of us. I said, they're hurting all of us. They're hurting the one that are here illeg illegally. And they're hurting us. We, our children, can't get a job in McDonald's. They can't get a job at Jack in the Box. 
They can't get a job at none of these places. At a restaurant, job that we used to have. My God, when King got to, to sign the Eagle Right bill, we was working. But right now, 20% of us is not working. Our young folks are not working. And my God, somebody ought to say something. But on the flip side, God help me preach a minute. On the other side, we are being had. And when I wrote this message, I wrote this on Tuesday morning at, at 4.30 in the morning that God got me up. I didn't even think about this was King Day, but God gave me this message. And my God, I got up and I was crying out inside because we, when we look at this, when you got 20% of your young teenager not working at all, the only thing they, most of them going to do is sling drugs and steal. And now they know you're going to do it. So they bring over the illegals and they have them working. And the hypocrites, I did say hypocrites, the hypocrites are tell you that they don't want the illegals here in the open, but on the inside, they are paying them to come. And they're getting rich. And then that same hypocrite that our children and our folk, Hispanic and black, are here legally. And they're working. They can't get a job. They can't get a good education. And that same hypocrite that bring the illegals in to work for them is now privatizing, buying stock in prison, building prison to get money on both ends. Money on both ends. We are becoming nothing but commodity. Somebody ought to say something. Allow me to say it. I say, allow me to say it. I know that they're watching me. And I know that this is going to ready you. But I'm not worried about that. Somebody needs to say something when you got all of this stuff going on. Hallelujah. And the church is not saying anything. Our folks are being affected. Now, they won't go to school. This is the indictment on us. We won't go to school. We don't want to learn. We don't want to pay for it. But my God, most of us that was out in the street and you was on drug and you paid two or three hundred dollars a day for drug. Now you're getting into church and you're talking about you can't go to school. You can't give, you can't get an education. My God, you don't, don't want to spend the money, but you got to get an education. Do you understand? This is not just uh, an oxicide. This is almost germicide. They're almost trying to get you out of genocide. They're trying to get you out of it. Look at somebody and tell them that we can do more than play sports. I said we can do more than play sports. We got a mind. We got a mind. Put your mind in action. Put your mind in action. Right here in the United States, when Katrina came, in New Orleans, when Katrina came, and they was hiring contractors, contracted to rebuild and they told them that they had to hire union people to give these folks a job they don't have a home their homes are gone give them a job they hired them contractors hired the carpenters hired the plumbers hired the electrician hired the laborers and about two weeks or three weeks after the taking the government money they subcontract out to folks in oklahoma Alabama, Arkansas, New Mexico, and they brought folks in from across the border and they laid those folks off. They were paying them $15 an hour and they start paying eight, nine dollars an hour. And our folks don't have no job. And my God, what is the church doing? Standing around clapping our hands, jumping up high, trying to look pretty. And my God, we the devil is taking everything we got. It's time for us to get up. I didn't go to the parade yesterday. I didn't go I, when I was the minister line president. Every year the minister marched in the parade. We was number two in the parade. And I was the president for 15 years. Since I gave up being a president, I gave it up. They didn't fire me. They didn't want me to fire. I resigned. And so when I resigned and turned it over, not one year since then have they been in the parade. Not one year. When I was president over the ministers of line, for 15 years, 
I raised $166,000 and I gave scholarship to you, you, you. Every, you all know it. You got scholarship. $1,500. I gave them out. $166,000. $40,000 we gave to the community for food. Since I have been not been president, not one dime of a scholarship been out. Somebody ought to say something. Somebody ought to say something. Hallelujah. 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 When I was the president and there was a disturbance in the city, when somebody got shot, I was down the city hall. I was talking with the chief of police. They would tell me what happened. Now they shoot a crazy man. They shoot him. If they say they are insane, man on the ground and they kill him. Nobody's saying anything. Be it known. I want you to be it known. I'm not speaking for the bishop. I'm not speaking for the, 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 the councilman. I'm not speaking for the minister of the line. Allow me to speak for myself. I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking for myself. When I was girls at 9 and 13 years old or having babies, let me speak for myself. When my God does crime on every corner, let me speak for myself. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 It's time for us to stop. Listen, you got to think we need to get together as a church. All the churches get together. And we need to start letting them know we've had enough. We had enough. We are not riding around in new cars. We don't have five or six cars. We don't have big houses. We just have the blood of Jesus. And my God, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is the thing that's going to bring us back. God brought us out. We come a long way, but we still have a long way to go. Do I have a witness? We have a long way to go. Hallelujah. 